So one thing I'm missing about the RC300 is the size of these pedals. So I thought, how could I remedy this? And I've got myself some barefoot buttons to go over the top. So all the way along, someone's just fell off there. There's a bit of dust off the carpet, it's okay. Oh, looks like one of the girl's hairs. Yeah, I live with a lot of women. Anyway, so we've got all these. And I'm going to colour coordinate them. And stick them up here. I don't know in which order I'm going to do them. Also, they come with these, uh, they come with these little Allen keys. And they got a uh, got these little grub screws in them as well. In order to tighten them up all the way around. So they're called uh, barefoot pedal toppers. I'll uh, make sure I find a link and I'll list it down below. And of course, if you're liking what I'm putting up, just make sure you uh, subscribe. And uh, hit that little bell button as well, as I'm going to be posting up a lot of the songs that I perform live and also giving some tutorials on how to do it. I notice that a lot of videos on YouTube just tend to show the same songs over and over and my set list is a little bit different, so do some different songs in there and it's good to just shake it up and have that, that little bit of versatility. Okay, so these are the barefoot pedal toppers. Um, I got them from Amazon, they're pretty cheap. I got two lots of them, there's five in each, and it came to about £32, but I think it's well worth it. It's pretty solid construction. Um, but I'll get them on top of this and let's see how it looks. So I'm just tightening up these grub screws. There is one either side. That's, that's pretty tight. Turns, but they turn as well, so it's fine. Pretty solid. Cool. I might put the. Ooh. I don't know which colour to go for next. Maybe the green. So that is the blue and the green up. So I'm thinking possibly I'm going to go for red for these two and then mix up the gold and silver. So the last three buttons up here. Okay, they are the red ones on there. I'm not too sure, they look all right. I don't know whether they just blend in too much into the whole color. I don't know. If anybody has any ideas online, then put it in the comment section below. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. And of course, this is where they came from. So we've got a place called Sonic Cake. Taste it. So it might be worth checking them out. But obviously I'm gonna put the link in down below to where I got them from exactly. And this is what they look like on the underside. It's plastic there. So they just got some grub screws here to tighten them in. That's nine up and I have one spare, which I'll probably put on one of my other vocalist pedals. But that's how it looks. Very good, very nice. That feels much better. Much more coverage. A bit like the same um, dimensions as the uh, RC300's pedals, which I do prefer in all honesty. Um, because every now and again I get like a little bit of a double hit going on, say if I want to, if I've got a drum track going and it's already there and I want to record on here, then I can do a bit of a double hit with both feet and that's how I get that going. Or if I want to stop two at once, so there, as I'm playing, and any order. So again, if you're liking the content, just don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the little bell next to it so you don't miss out on anything. There's someone doing a handstand at a gig. It was pretty fun. That's impressive. <laughs> that was